hello friends in this video i'm going to show you how you can go ahead and farm the scroll airdrop and please note that this video is for the information purpose only none of this is a financial advice do your own research now scroll had a recent upgrade which is bernoulli upgrade and the gas fees on the scroll have uh, reduced down drastically now although it's not uh, cheap as as compared to some other l2s on the ethereum mainnet but still we can go ahead and farm this airdrop and this might be a potential airdrop because i think the valuation of scroll in total is above 1.2 billion dollars which is a huge valuation and if they tend to do a airdrop this would be a massive airdrop now the first thing uh, that you can do is basically you can uh, use their uh, portal over here and uh, you can go ahead and connect this scroll sepholia to your metamask now once you do that all you can do is basically you can uh bridge some of the sepholia from the ethereum mainnet to scroll mainnet so let me show you for example i will go ahead and do this for 0.1 sepholia eth and then i will go ahead and accept this in my wallet over here now once you do that all you can do is basically you can go ahead and withdraw it to your ethereum once again in order to have couple of transactions on the testnet now the next thing uh, that you can do is basically the same thing uh, you can actually go ahead and bridge uh, your ethereum to scroll mainnet now i would advise is to use their official bridge at least once and then you can use some other bridges like or maybe orbiter finance or bungie or some other bridge but at least try to use uh, their own bridge once or twice but not more than that because usually these bridges are expensive as compared to other uh, competitor bridges now once you have like uh, scroll on your uh, mainnet then uh, basically you can go to layer 3 over here and try to complete all of this quest over here so after the bernoulli upgrade uh, as you can see uh, on layer 3 they have like 12 quest over here now once you complete this quest apart from the scroll airdrop you would be eligible to get this cubes also now i think only 3 or 4 days are left for layer 3 season 1 airdrop now if you collect like 100 cubes on the layer 3 then you would be eligible for this layer 3 airdrop as well now the next thing that you can do is basically you can go ahead and have some uh, swap uh, transactions on scroll mainnet and then you can go ahead and add some liquidity pool on sync swap so let me go ahead and change this to scroll first so as you can see you can basically swap your eth or some other coins and tokens on the scroll network to any other coins over here now with regards to pool uh, you can see all the pools that are available on the scroll network now if you want to farm some uh, juicy apr maybe you can go ahead and try this pool over here please note that in liquidity pool there is something called as impermanent loss uh, which you will need to take care of or else if you are not much into volatile pools then maybe you can try this usdt to usdc pool over here which is more like a stable pool so with regards to any liquidity pool all you have to do is you will need to check how much is the liquidity in the pool first of all so the liquidity should be higher and it should also have a decent apr so for me actually the top 3 are uh, the best one to be honest even this one is fine e to usdt but you can like actually go ahead and check uh, which pool is the best one and maybe if you want to go ahead and add liquidity you can do it if not then it's perfectly fine but i would uh, suggest it like at least do it once and uh, here you will be able to see your earnings and uh, rest of the things now uh, you will also like to use this ambient finance at least once so anyways you will be using this uh, ambient finance if you are completing the layer 3 quest so basically what you can do is you can go here and do some swaps over here maybe you can convert your eth to usdc or vice versa like from usdt to eth and then they also have this uh, liquidity pools over here where you can go ahead and add them to a liquidity pool so as you can see i have some positions maybe opened over here Uh, i think uh, i have done this in the past you can go ahead and check if you have it or not so basically you will be able to find all these pools over here so these are something called as top pools where you can go ahead and 
put your funds in the uh, liquidity pool now the next thing uh, that you can do is basically you can deploy a basic contract on uh, base uh, sorry scroll network now i would suggest is uh, don't spam it much I, I mean at least do it once or twice only not more than that because the recent airdrops uh, are not allowing uh, monthly transactions so just to have a transaction on the scroll network a basic contract at least in order to get your uh, wallet to a dev wallet then i would suggest is go ahead and deploy one basic contract over here on scroll network and then uh, at least uh, interact with that contract one time now the next thing that you can do is basically you can go to scroll name services over here and maybe you can get your domain name now the three to four words uh, domain name would be expensive so let me check if crypto insight is there or maybe i have already purchased it i think so i purchased one or two of this on let me check this okay i will go ahead and connect so unavailable i think i have already purchased this one maybe you can try something else like uh, if i type like four words then i think this would be expensive this is available let me check the price over here so as you can see the price is like 0.0625 eth which is expensive but if you go for a longer one it would be like uh, cheaper as compared to this one now the next thing that you can do is basically you can go to their web main website and uh, search for uh, this ecosystem over here and basically you will be able to browse all these protocols over here and uh, i mean it's uh, difficult to actually go ahead and interact with all this to be honest because if you go in all category they have a lot of them but maybe you can focus on uh, some uh, big ones like maybe ave is there then safe on safe uh, basically you can create a multi sig wallet there's one more multi sig wallet which i will show you in some time maybe you can interact with stargate over here and then ambient finance you should interact and then sync swap also so you can you can go ahead and basically check all of this and whichever you feel like you can go ahead and interact with that specific protocol on the scroll network now if you want to mint some cheap uh, nfts over here so they have this nft collection where you can mint this for 0.005 now there are few other websites also where you can go ahead and mint few of these nfts if you want so basically what happens is like whenever you mint an nft collection it shows as a contract so like if you are into art and if you appreciate art and or if you just want to have one contract on the scroll then maybe you can go ahead and like uh, mint uh, this nft or maybe you can go to element markets uh, place over here and search for some top nft collections on the scroll network so for example i have like few of this scroll tunes i think i have like two or three and uh, one or two were air dropped in my wallet i don't know why then i have some of this wolfy over here although i'm not in, uh, into nfts on the scroll network much i will need to actually go ahead and do some proper research as to which are the best and best nfts on the scroll network because i honestly don't find any blue chip collections over here for the time being but maybe in the future if they have one then i can get few of the expensive ones on the scroll network now if you want to have like multiple contracts and mint some multiple nfts on scroll network then you can go to zkstars.io over here and switch uh, your network to scroll network and basically you can go ahead and mint like around 20 nfts at a time so they have this now i won't be going ahead and minting this because i already have a lot of this on different networks uh, for a transaction and also to have some unique nfts in my wallets so i have like 20 on zk sync and some other i think so some on base and zora also i have but uh, i will need to go ahead and check even on scroll i think i have like 20 of this i'm not sure i have done it in the past now we have already talked about layer 3 now you can go ahead and interact with layer bank also on the scroll network over here where uh, they have this market over here and 
basically you can go ahead and supply your balance or borrow your balance uh, against the supplied amount so basically it's a borrowing and the lending protocol for scroll network and there are a few others as well like linea manta mode zikalink nova and bob so you can do this if you want to go ahead and supply and borrow on scroll network now to be honest i'm not into lending and supplying and borrowing to be honest but i think i've done it in the past uh, just for one transaction on layer bank on the scroll network now similarly you can uh, like interact with zebra protocol over here and maybe do some basic swaps and check out their earn liquidity pools over here and they also have these pools and where you can go ahead and add some liquidity so as you can see this one is giving a very good apr like usdc to wrapped eth and it has a total staked volume of around close to 1 million so you can do this on the scroll network over here and uh, the next thing is like you can try to get this uh, guild rolls over here now this is pretty difficult because here uh, you should have participated in some scroll events uh, internationally then only you would be able to get this rolls over here so uh, i haven't got a single role because i haven't participated in any of this and i don't have so much of uh, knowledge in order to do some a lot of technical stuff on the cryptocurrency but i'm trying to learn solidity programming to be honest and some other programming on uh, blockchain because uh, to be honest i'm thinking to develop something on the blockchain actually i'm working on something right now a coin and token i'm working and building it uh, on ada and as well as on solana so this is uh, this is just a test uh, project for me uh, as of now it doesn't have any utility but i have some things in my mind maybe i might be going ahead and implementing it if i get some decent investor and if he or she likes my plan so this is for the guild roles over here then basically you can check uh, some interactions on scroll scan over here although i mean this won't help you much with the airdrop but still if you want to like go ahead and explore this scroll scan you can go ahead and check few of the transactions over here now you can also check the status of the scroll network uh, at any given point of time so as you can see currently they have all the systems operational so if at any given point of time there is a downturn on the scroll network then you would be able to see it over here now with regard to the scroll origins nft i think uh, it's it's not available to mint now the reason being actually i think all of these nfts are minted now now i had few i had like one or two of these on optimism network so i have this scroll origins on optimism but i don't think i have the original nft as of yet maybe in the future if they allow to mint this nft i will go ahead and mint this as well because to be honest i like nfts i love collecting them it's a more like a art piece for me and i just put them in the collection option except for if i get a decent price in the future then I, only i go ahead and sell this now the last thing is basically you can go ahead and create a multi sig wallet on the scroll network using save dot scroll over here so you can simply go ahead and connect your wallet metamask wallet and add some multiple signatures on save dot scroll so these are some of the steps uh, that you can do in order to currently farm the scroll airdrop actually there are a lot of stuffs on the scroll network yet and there are some devnet stuff also which i'm working on so for which i will make a separate video later once it's completed so this is all for this video and in case if you have any doubts and questions please feel free to leave a comment i would be more than happy to help you hope you like my video thank you for watching